Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my little space online. As a film photography enthusiast, I always want to try different film stocks. And the sad thing is that while we still have some options nowadays, I always feel like I'm missing out on so many film stocks that are no longer in production. I mean, Fujifilm alone used to have a ton of offerings, and now what do they have? Like, two? <laughs> There's also a lot of film stocks out there that are basically just the same film stocks, just repackaged by different brands, which is fine. <laughs> but it's not really fun to try the same thing over and over again, especially if you already know their characteristics. So I'm always on the lookout for expired film stocks, particularly the ones that are no longer in production. Uh, and sure, expired films will not exhibit the same quality that they're supposed to given their age, but based on my previous experience, some really well-preserved films can still render some pretty good image quality. And that is the closest that I will ever get to trying those film stocks. Now, I usually get my expired films from online shops like eBay, but I recently came across this Australian seller, Mr. Negative Film Store, and saw that they were offering rare Fujifilm cinema film stocks like Eterna 250T. So I gave them a try and bought a few rolls, and it was great. I shot some of the rolls uh, this past spring and had some very pleasing results. Anyways, fast forward to the summer, Gareth from Mr. Negative Film Store got in touch with me to ask if I'd like to try some of their film offerings, and because I already had a good experience buying from them before, of course I jumped at the opportunity. They sent me three film stocks, a roll of Mr. Negative Eterna 250T, which is an old Fujifilm cinema film stock, a roll of Daylight Robbery 400, which I think is a Kodak cinema film stock just with a ramjet layer removed so it can be easily processed by most film labs in C41 chemistry, and a roll of Mr. Negative Rare Vision 2 250D, which is an older version of the current Vision 3 250D cinema film stock from Kodak. By the way, all of this information is available in their website, link here, or in the description down below. And I really appreciate their transparencies on what their film socks really are. <laughs> they also sent me socks. Um, thank you, I will gladly wear them. <laughs> Subscribe for more foot content. By the way, Mr. Negative isn't sponsoring and had no input as to what I'll be saying in this video. So everything I say is my own honest experience with using their film stocks. And I just want to show you my results so you can get an idea of what is possible with these films. All right, let's get to it. I brought these films with me during my trip last summer. I shot the Eterna 250T in Freiburg and Durbach in the Black Forest region of Germany. This film is a tungsten balance film, meaning its white balance temperature is more on the bluish, cooler side because it's meant to be used under tungsten light, which is warm. However, as you can see from these photos, you can use it in daylight and still get a balanced image. I love these old Fuji Cinema film stocks. Eterna tends to scan flat with less contrast, and for most of these images, I just kept that characteristic, but you can easily add contrast in post-processing. Keep in mind that this is expired film and I had to shoot it at ISO 100, which is what Mr. Negative recommends, so there may be some color shifts. However, I think the color tonality is still great, the colors are typical of Fujifilm, the reds pop, and the greens are more on the cooler side. A 
Eterna 250T has a ramjet layer and must be processed in ECN2 chemistry, so check with your film lab before you get it developed. I get mine processed at Grey Nation here in Toronto, but other places like Memento Film Lab, Aiden Cameras, and Downtown Cameras can process ECN as well. There's probably more, but these are the places that I've been before that I liked. The next film, Daylight Robbery, I shot in Florence, Italy. The character of this film, especially the halation, makes me believe that this is a Kodak Cinema film, like the Vision 3 250D with a ramjet layer removed. Kind of like a certain 400 daylight film. <laughs> Actually, as I'm making this video, I found out that Mr. Negative recommends to shoot this at ISO 200, which I didn't do. <laughs> I shot these at 400, which they're not bad, although I did underexpose some. The underexposed ones are still a mood though. And last but not the least, actually it's my fav out of the three, is Mr. Negative Rare Vision 2 250D. That's right, Vision 2 250D, not Vision 3. So this is an older version of Kodak's current cinema film stocks. I shot my roll using my Leica M6 in Freiburg and finished it in Pisa, Italy, and uh, my results were so good. I'm gonna keep that in. <laughs> The color profile is so cinematic, obviously because a lot of old films were shot in Vision 2. And besides adding contrast, I didn't touch the colors in post-processing. You know, when people say expired film, there's always this expectation that you'll get lots of grains and color shifts. But these ones that I got were so well preserved that it's pretty much like using new film stock. And like I said, this rare Vision 2 250D is my favorite out of the three, so I got a few more. By the way, given that these film stocks are already discontinued by their manufacturers, these are quite limited, so if you think you'd want to try them, maybe you should try them now while you still can. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to give a big thank you to Mr. Negative Film Store for providing the films that I used in this video. Again, not sponsored, but do check him out. I've bought a few times from them already and it's always been great. And also, can we just take some time to appreciate their awesome packaging design that has tons of personality? I mean, aren't these so cute? And the names? Some of the names are references to popular movies, but some like Daylight Robbery and 700S are references to hilarious uh, film community drama like If You Know You Know, Wink Wink. <laughs> so funny. I mean, compare that to what Kodak is doing with their packaging. Oof. 
Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. And maybe send it to someone who you think will appreciate too. Um, but yeah, shout out to Grey Nation for developing and scanning my film, by the way. And that's it. I hope to see you all again in the next one. Cheers.